Hello. In this uh, Linux uh, lab, as part of this uh, AWS uh, restart program, uh, in this lab, I'll demonstrate about the 17, which is a uh, lab on uh, users and groups. Let me quickly uh, click this lab and uh, get ready with the lab first. And then I will show you how you can create users. And of course, we can also uh, create uh, groups also and add users in this particular lab. So once you click this lab, just wait for the uh, lab to get ready. This uh, lab will be shown display at the top, uh, which should come to green. So once this, yes, it's almost getting green. So once this is green, you should get a terminal window with uh, uh, what you call as the dollar prompt. So in my earlier lab, I shown explained about the commands. Now let us uh, go ahead in understanding about, I'll just drag, understanding about the scenario. So here, Mr. X has come to you this week with a new set of requirements, a little more difficulty, but with the same Friday pay indication. So let me just uh, go through. He has a list of, I mean, each section and who needs to be removed. So this is about 45 minutes of lab. And what we need to do is that the exercise one, we need to create users, create users with the help of sudo. So here you see this is a tabulation. We have several users. So here we are going to create this uh, users, uh, all the users, okay. Uh, and now the, for the task using this command called as user add. And of course, we will also be uh, creating user with passwords also. See, this spreadsheet will be given uh, your name, first name and user ID. And of course, your password also is given. So how to do that? So we can use this particular command. I think this is an example which is given. So I'll be using this, using this user ad and also set the password, okay, as a P at the rate of SSWRD1234 exclamation. So the first user which I want to create is AHITT, AHITT. So in the, uh, since we are in the user prompt, we need to give this sudo access also. Uh, this normally user ad can be done only by the administrator. So in order to have a specified privileges, I'll be using as a sudo also, sudo user ad a h i t t is the username is the username hyphen p to set the password so capital p at the rate of at the rate of s s w o r d one two three four acceleration this is what which has been defined in the spreadsheet once you do this one automatically you should see the user is created how to verify whether this user has been created or not you can use this get entry get entry in the password file so i can verify sudo get entry get ent okay esswd this is the password file and pipe pipe this is called as pipe and i use this filter called as cut there are actually seven fields i want to see with the delimiter as d is delimiter as colon colon and the field is one field one if i specify i should get the field name one Okay, so the first field I should be getting and the last one is the user which I have created, which I have created. Similarly, I can create users for this is CTE and all so and so at a faster rate. So I'll show you once again. So I can say user add CTE done. I'm going to create all the other users similarly. So, okay, I have created all the users as per the user ID and the passwords. You can verify whether all these users are listed uh, accordingly using this get ENT, get ENT, sudo, get ENT, ESSWD, and say use the cut filter, cut, and the delimiter is column and the field one. Field one, you can see all the users has been created right from, you can see all these users, okay. So that completes our first exercise. First exercise, you can see, you can validate. Uh, you can even enter into one of the user ID, one of the user ID and verify accordingly also. So how do I do that? I can say sudo, if I want a h i t t sudo, I can say, uh, I can say, a h i t t. Yep, I have logged into user ID. 
I can verify here I am in AHITT. Exit. So you are back to your shell. You are back to your shell. That completes our first exercise. Now let us understand about how to create a group. So here the situation is that you may have some great potential. Mr. X wants to take more action. He wants to create the following groups. How do we create a group? Using this group add. Group add. So here create a group. So how do I create? I can use sudo group add. These are the following groups which I need to create. Sales. And after creating the group, we can uh, add the following, I mean the sales users. See, this is the exercise which we need. Add the following users into these particular groups. Okay, first let us create the group. And then you can modify this sudo user mod hyphen a, the group sales to ahitt. We will do that. So first of all, let me create this one, a group, a group at sales and group at shipping. So I'm just clearing it up. Group add, group add. I, I need to do sudo also first. Sudo group add sales. Okay. So I have created a group called a sales. Okay. Now if I need to create a group called a shipping, sudo group add shipping. Okay. So how do I verify whether this group has been created or not? You can do in two methods. One is cat, etc. or a group, etc. group, which will display the group complete contents. So you see at the last, your sales and shipping is also created. Or, or you can say tail, etc. group. It will display the last 10 lines of this particular entry, of this entry. The sales and shipping has been created has been created. Now we want to modify the users or you have to modify the users so and so to be in sales and so and so users needs to be I mean this one uh, usernames should be in sales, shipping, HR, managers, finance and the CEO. We have to create six groups. We have only created two groups. Let me create the other groups also. Group add HR. I am giving everything in small letters. Group add Sudo, sudo, I need to give sudo. Sudo, group add, HR. Okay. Sudo, group add, managers. Sudo, group add, finance. Sudo, group add, CEO. Now we need to modify the members. So I want to add this user as blunt, as blunt, okay, and of course as Jane and also y h a l l i d a to the sales group how do i do that how do i do that by using sudo user mod hyphen a hyphen a hyphen group that is group capital g, g for group sales a h i t t so a h i t t will be in the part of sales group okay sorry i have given wrong it is user m o d not m o d d user mod yes it's done so let me add further members also into the group, the other uh, users also as, as sales into SJN. Yes, I have added. Let me add further YHALLIDA. I have added into the group. Okay. Let me add other members also user mod to the other group like shipping. So in this way, I have completed adding all the users to respective groups. You see this, there are some members who are in multiple groups also. Like let me say this DOL Dolbert is there, but Dolbert is there in finance as well as managers. So you can have in multiple groups also. So this is how you assign, I mean modify the users into respective groups. Okay. So I think once if you have done, you can ask, you can verify using the sudo get ENT, get entry to the group, okay, and verify whether, sorry. Get ENT uh, to the group. It should display the sales group has all the four members. You can see shipping, so and so, members, managers, 
finance, CEO, all the users. Hence, you have verified this exercise 2. I think if you do this exercise 1 and 2, that's fine. So, that's all. Uh, I mean, so hence, we have completed how to create users and how to even create groups, add users to groups uh, in this exercise. Please practice exercise 1 and 2 multiple times. Uh, yes. You can end the lab also. Okay. Once you end the lab, uh, you can again do multiple times. And thank you very much and bye.